Your newscasters is Nick Hill from Ms. Macron and Ms. Holper's class. And also Lori from Mrs. Macron and Mrs. Holper's class. Today is Tuesday, June 8th, 2010. It is a day six. The character education thought of the day is show good sportsmanship by congratulating the other team after a game. And now for you up to the minute weather. Today is expected to be a current temperature of 62 degrees Fahrenheit. The high is supposed to is expected to be 75 degrees Fahrenheit. The humidity is currently 57%. The low this evening will be 55 degrees Fahrenheit. Tomorrow is expected to be cloudy with a chance of showers. There will be outdoor recess today. <coughs> Today's lunch will be baked breaded chicken nuggets. At this time, please stand for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance, allegiance to, to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. What a better way to wrap up an amazing school year with a day of fun. On June 10th and 11th, 3rd and 4th graders will enjoy a full day of fun with activities set up by the PE department. 3rd graders will go on the 10th and 4th graders will go on the 11th. Be sure to wear your sneakers and load up on sunscreen. Um, activities will include a slim body performance in the morning followed by Tim and guard, relay races, hula hoop contests, jump rope, fire brigade, um, parachute activities, um, tug of peace, and jailbreak. Music will fill the air by our very own DJ, Mr. Bassford. As always, please remember to demonstrate good sportsmanship and most of all, have fun. At, at this time, we would like to turn the show to Mr. Andrew, who will recognize a few students. Good morning, Village School. It gives Ms. Lacey and me great pleasure to be able to recognize some of the outstanding work that the boys and girls of Village School have done this year. Every morning our broadcasters do a terrific job of talking about the character education thought of the day. And all of you in our school model them and our teachers do the same through morning meeting and all of the other great things they do with you. Well, this morning we're going to recognize an incredibly large group of boys and girls who have continued to show their support and their belief in character education through these various initiatives. And we're going to present a lot of certificates. Every single one of them is important because every one of them models character, caring for other people or animals uh, throughout the world. So, we'd like to begin first with recognizing our students who raised an additional $60 for the Haiti Relief Fund. And if you've seen any news reports, they're still very much in need of funds and support in Haiti. So I'd like to congratulate Mahima. Congratulations. Sejal. She's not here. Emily. Congratulations, Emily. Thank you. Jasmine. Congratulations, Jasmine. Take your hand first. Can you get the certificate? And Brooke, congratulations, Brooke. Nice work. Alika, congratulations. Nice work. Gloria, not here. Mark, get your certificate here. Congratulations, Mark. Great work. Thank you. Ethan, not here. And Alexander, congratulations, Alexander. Great work. Thank you. Our next recognition we'd like to do is from Mrs. Dunham's class. And it's a very timely uh, fundraiser. They raised pennies for pelicans, and they raised nearly $200 in support of pelicans, which one species of which, the brown pelican, is actually an endangered species in parts of the United States. If you've seen any of the, the horrific pictures of the oil spill down in Louisiana, you've seen the workers trying to clean off and save some of the injured wildlife, including the endangered brown pelicans. So we want to really congratulate Mrs. Dunham's class for coming up with the idea. and raising almost $200 in support of pelicans. And we'd like to call forward Mia 
and Garrett for their class and congratulate them and present their certificate for your class on behalf of Ms. Lacey and me. Nice work. Thank you very much. And our final group of recogn uh, recognees we'd like to uh, honor are students who donated their hair for Locks of Love. Locks of Love, of course, as you know, students and adults uh, uh, cut off their hair to provide it for people who are going through cancer treatments. And it's a very wonderful thing that our students do. And I believe our school has done it for the last several years. And some of them are even sporting their Locks of Love t-shirts. So I'm going to call them up and ask them to stand next to me and congratulate them one at a time. The first one is Mrs. O'Reilly, who is one of our teachers who isn't here this morning. But I'd like to invite up Jessica and Anna from Ms. Lucas's class. If you would please come on up. Congratulations. And I'd like to invite up Sarah and Jennifer from Ms. Steele's class. Come on up. We'll squeeze in here so we can get everybody in. Kelly from Mr. Bartholomew's class. Congratulations. I don't know if I can shut everybody's hand. Uh, Jennifer from Ms. Webb's class. Congratulations. Keep squeezing in. Harley from Ms. Sears' class. Oh, okay. Hey, I'm sorry. I need to put my glasses on. Water out. Squeeze in. And Christina from Ms. Ryan's class. Thank you. If you spin around. Thank you, girls, very much for your unselfish donation of your hair to make others' lives a little more comfortable. We're so proud of you. Thank you very much. And what a great way to begin our next to the last week of school. So congratulations, boys and girls all. And at this time, I'd like to turn it back to our newscasters. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, Mr. Hadinger, and congratulations to everyone who, has, who was acknowledged today. For the VES News Network, this is Lori signing off. And Nick Hill signing off. Tune in tomorrow for another exciting edition of VES News. Have, Have a, a terrific, terrific Tuesday. Tuesday.